There's a serial killer running around in Red Dead Redemption 2. In order to find this dude and put a stop to his crimes, you'll need to find three murder scenes scattered around the map. Thankfully, they're always in basically the same spot, so actually finding them isn't too painful. The three locations are as follows. The first one is south of Valentine. It's under a railroad bridge. This is right out there. Basically, this is actually considered a stranger mission. Because when you find all three of the uh, kill sites, basically, I guess what you call them, then you'll unlock the mission when you actually get close to where his hiding spot is. Because another, this is kind of another treasure hunt, sort of. It's kind of a bounty hunt. When you actually finish it, it's considered a stranger mission, so it's it's a little bit of everything. And see, this is uh, quite the grisly scene. Yeah, I'd say this is bad, but the further you get in the game, you'll see some more stuff like this. As you can see, this map is split into three pieces, so we need to find the other two pieces. Like I said, this one was south of Valentine under a railroad bridge. The next one is south of Rhodes. This one's at this crossroads, this three-way crossroads down here. There's a big old tree. It's hard to miss. In fact, this is probably going to be the one you'll see first. The other one, you might see the corpse hanging under there, but you might not think much of it. You might just think, oh... Sometimes you see like hanging corpses in the, just wandering around. So you might think, oh, it's just nothing special. It's just another corpse. Let's check this one out. Basically, you just need to look around this big old overgrown tree. It's a very distinct tree. Where are you hiding? It's around here somewhere. There it is. There's another disemboweled body. That's pretty gross. And just like the first one, we need to find a head. There it is. And that's got our next clue. Uh, there's part two of our map. Now we need to get the last piece. This one is southwest of Valentine. It's uh, south um, from the river from Wallace Station. So it's right out there. This one's just on some rocks. This one can definitely be a little hard to find because it's not off of one of the main roads. I don't even know what I'm looking at there. Is that body upside down? That's weird. There's the last one. This is all pretty gross. <gasps> no, it seems pretty obvious now. Okay, here we go. This is what we really need. That's the last piece, so now we have the complete map. Now we can find the Killer's Den. They are also southwest of Valentine. It's in this house over here. It's not there. Right here. It's the uh, burnt out shack that's over close to Valentine. There's actually a padlock on the door to get into the cellar, and that's what we need. And as you can see, that last clue that we got had the code. And also, as you can see, we got close to it, and boom, there it is. It's a stranger mission. So there's nothing up here. 
You need to find the entrance to the cellar. I guess this place isn't really burned down. It's just destroyed. There it is. Let's double check that code again. 6, 34, 32. I see. Like when you're breaking into banks and stuff, you can just do this without having to know the code ahead of time. But this one, you won't be able to interact with it at all if you don't know the code. And look, more viscera. There's the vittles and the visceras. It's got these notes all over the place. They got some premium cigarettes. That's what I really want though, Kentucky bourbon. I don't care about the rest of this crap. Yeah, this guy's just a you know classic Jack the Ripper sort, letter to the editor stuff. I'm the, call him the Zodiac. We're like the Nodiac. Get out of here. Oh, he's doing scalping too? Oh, this guy's just out of control. Oh, that's, that's pleasant. It's all a bit much. All right, inspect the knife, and that will get this thing actually going. Yeah, he attacks you. <laughs> Have you come for me? Or was this all nasty? At this point, it pretty much just plays out, so I'll let it go. yourself thinking about what's about to happen now I'm not going to lie it's not going to be nice and fun I mean it'll be fun for me but it won't be nice for you He's got a glass jaw. All right, we're done with him. Let's put this fool away. Those are really the two forms of killers you can get. There's either the giant monster man killers, you know, your Jason Voorhees, or you get the simpler little crybabies. That's this guy's definitely the latter. All right, let's bring him to the sheriff. Get whatever bounty we can get off of him. I just put him wherever. Well, it ain't nothing much. A lot of folk disappeared over the past few years. This sick son of a bitch, well, he ain't right in the head. That's so. Head over to the cellar for that broke down shack on the road to the falls. Speak for yourself. Okay, well, come on then. 
My name's Edmund. Edmund Lowry, Jr. And you remember that, my son? Sure I shall. You know, you are a frightening fella. Well, I'll behave, sir. I'll behave as a stepson. Well, you better. And I'll get you a lawyer. Don't you worry about that. And you get in that cell, come as you be. Well, let's put a stop to this. There we go. Oh, okay. There we go. Now we're talking. How much do we get? 20 bucks. We got 20 bucks. Come on. <laughs> that guy killed like a gazillion people. Like, yeah, whatever. It's 20 bucks. Get out of here. I'm done with you. Well, let's see what happens to the body. I think I get some kind of satisfaction out of all this. It's you. All these dumb in the sty next door. You know what you can do to get rid of bodies in this game is, is you can just feed them to pigs. That's true. <laughs> and with that fascinating fact, that's it for the serial killer stranger mission. Thanks for watching.